She was so grown up. Good morning. Welcome to Hardin County Commissioner's Court. Today's Tuesday, May the 11th, 2021. It is 10 a.m. and all members of the court are present. This meeting is called to order. Everyone, please rise for the invocation by Commissioner Kirkendall, followed by the Pledge of Allegiance. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you for this day. Lord, we thank you for watching over our county. Lord, our county employees. Lord, we lift it up our first responders. And Father, we pray that you would protect those who protect us. Today, God, we remember the Linda Davis family. Lord, we thank you for the over 30 years she has served the citizens of Hardin County. And Lord, she's given her life's work, Lord, to uh, helping the indigent in our county and uh, also being a wise use of uh, taxpayer money. And Father, we just remember her today. And Father, we pray over her family who, who, who are still living that you'll be with them as they grieve. And we ask these things in Christ's name. Amen. 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 I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you, Commissioner. Yes, sir. Item number three is approval of the minutes of April 27, 2021 at the regular meeting and our May 3, 2021 special meeting as presented by the County Clerk, Linda Austin. So moved. Second. I have a motion by Commissioner Roberts, second by Commissioner Cooper. Any discussion? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Motion passes unanimously. It's projected on the bottom right. If you click on that speaker and just click mute, on the very, very bottom in the toolbar. Sorry about that. Thank you. Item number four, consider and possibly, possibly approve item A, request to cancel all registered claims from April 27, 2021. Item B is the cash statement. And item C is the quarterly report for the quarter ending March 31st, 2021. All of these items will be presented by Ms. Deborah McWilliams, the county treasurer. Good morning, Ms. McWilliams. Good morning. I'm asking mm -hmm. the court to release me as a liability of $1,477,970. On our cash on our report, report and general checking, checking, we have $17,561,434.28. In tax pool, we have $321.90 for a total in cash funds of $17,561,755.28. On our cash report for the first quarter of 2021, ending March 31st, our balance in general checking was $19,497,642.14. In tax pool, $321.09 for a total in cash funds of $19,497,963.28. That's an increase in the cash balance for the first quarter of 2021 in the amount of $9,103,172.40. Move to approve as presented. Second. A motion by Commissioner Kirkendall, seconded by Commissioner Roberts. Any discussion? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? <laughs> motion passes unanimously. Thank, Thank you, Ms. McWilliams. Next is item number five, authorization to pay county bills as presented by the auditor. <coughs> Good morning, Ms. Gordon. Good morning. The previous revision is first for April 28, 
I have a motion by Commissioner Cooper, second by Commissioner Roberts. Any discussion? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? <coughs> motion passes unanimously. Thank you, Ms. Gore. Thank you. Item number six, consider adoption of resolution 19-21, supporting Operation Lone Star and the state's request for federal funds to reimburse the state and local governments for expenses incurred as a result of the United States federal government's border policies. Move for support. Second. Second. That motion by Commissioner Kirkendall, seconded by Commissioner Young to adopt Resolution 19-21. Any other discussion? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Motion passes unanimously. Item number seven, consider approval of request to authorize the purchasing agent to solicit bids for overlaying on the following county roads located in Precinct 3, approximately 3,200 feet on Beaverbrook, approximately 700 feet on Price Lane, and approximately 3,800 feet on Old Batson Saratoga Road are requested by Commissioner Young. Move so, to approve. Second. Second. A motion by Commissioner Kirkendall, seconded by Commissioner Cooper. Is that correct? Yes, sir. Any discussion? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Motion passes unanimously. And uh, Commissioner Young and uh, Mr. Tupper worked on um, submitting the uh, final engineering uh, survey from LGA last week to FEMA for the Beaverbrook crossing. So hopefully that gets approved quickly and we'll start working on, y'all will start working on replacing that bridge pretty soon, hopefully. Yes, sir. <coughs> Item number eight, consider and possibly approve request to adopt Hardin County guidelines for on-site sewage facilities assistance program requested by Michelle Brewer. Uh, this is standard boilerplate language that has to be adopted before we begin that uh, grant project. Second. A motion by Commissioner Roberts, seconded by Commissioner Young. Any discussion? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? <coughs> motion passes unanimously. Item number nine, permission to accept total loss offer from Texas Association of Counties Risk Management Pool for a 2014 Ford F-150, VIN number ending in 1538, in the amount of $20,597.75. So moved. Second. A motion by Commissioner Kirkendall, seconded by Commissioner Young. Any discussion? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Motion passes unanimously. Item number 10, authorization for county judge to sign a request for unclaimed capital credits re received from elect uh, electric cooperatives for 2020. So moved. Second. Second. A motion by Commissioner Kirkendall, seconded by Commissioner Young. Any discussion? All in favor? Aye. Any opposed? The motion passes unanimously. Item number 11, discussion only of any item not on the agenda without taking any action. Um, just want to say again uh, what Commissioner Kirkendall uh, said during his uh, prayer. Uh, please keep the uh, Davis family in your prayers. Linda's uh, visitation will be tomorrow from 5 to 8, and that's at uh, Bruce Arge and Silsby. Is that correct? And then the funeral service is Thursday morning at 10 at the First Baptist Church of Coons right down the road here. So uh, anybody that could uh, attend either or both of those, I know the families would be very appreciative. And then this week is uh, Police Officers, uh, National Police Officers Week. And, uh, you know, nationwide, police officers and law enforcement as a whole is not uh, being supported like they used to be. But thank God here in Southeast Texas they are. And we're very fortunate in Hardin County to have a, a wonderful sheriff who takes care of Hardin County and takes care of his deputies and, and makes sure that Hardin County is protected well. And I just want to say thank you to Sheriff Davis and our deputies as well as all of our law enforcement in Hardin County. And if you uh, see a policeman somewhere at lunch or out on the street, uh, thank them for the job that they do. Anybody have anything further? Move to adjourn. Second. Have a motion by Commissioner Kirkendall to adjourn. Seconded by Commissioner Cooper. All in favor? Aye. Aye. We're adjourned. Y'all have a great rest of the week. Yes, sir. You too.